So Oasis made a mini case docking station for the Mac Mini M4 or M4 Pro. <laughs> it looks really cool with a 40 gigabit connection, super easy to set up, it supports two 4K displays, it takes two NVMe SSDs, a bunch of USB ports and it even supports ST and micro SD cards and it looks amazing. And that's it, you can go, no don't go. Before we go to the speed test as usual, one thing that I love is the assembly process of this mini case. So once I open the package, it comes with all the accessories and it's really well built. It's metal all around. I don't see any plastics with the exception of the cable and here on the feet, these rubberized protection so that it doesn't slip on the surface, but everything else. It has this cooling system that fits right into the Mac mini system. There's a screw that lets it says remove the side panel right over here so that we can install two SSDs and even comes with four thermal pads in case we are planning to use the drives heavily. And by heavily, I mean that if I want to use them intensively on a daily basis, using it for video editing or transfer large files, then I would suggest thermal pads because it will make the SSDs contact with the surface here and it will cool down the SSDs a lot faster and that's really really cool. Now putting the Mac Mini inside it's super simple we just need to flip it like this and then we will need to remove these two screws on each side and that's it. But before sliding my Mac Mini I had to check inside because I don't want to scratch my Mac Mini and I did realize that it's fine because it has this foam padding exactly where the Mac Mini will fit. So everything is perfect right over here. The internal fit is really well designed. So after sliding the Mac Mini we just need to put the fit back on, screw it down and connect this included Thunderbolt cable between the dock and the Mac Mini. Boom! It's ready to go to our setup with a really awesome design. Now it has at the front three USB type a 10 gigabit ports. On the back it has one USB Type-C port for the Mac, one USB Type-C with power delivery up to 30 watts and two display ports. If we connect one single display it will be able to do 4K at 144 hertz. If we connect two displays it will be able to do 4K at 60 hertz on both displays. And now with the mini case docking station Acasis, which is on this setup with dual displays and at this moment I've got three devices connected, a SSD connected to the USB type A, one SD card and we also have two SSDs inside which at this moment they are in RAID 0. So let's select the RAID 0 first right over here. We have two Sabrent 2 terabytes each inside NVMe and as we can see 2300 megabytes per second on writes and reaching almost 2000 700 megabytes per second on reach. Sometimes it goes a bit above which I did notice a few moments ago while testing out but at this moment reaching almost the 2700 and 2250 megabytes per second on right. Right now we did reach the 2700 megabytes per second as I was looking before. There we are again. If we are going to use the SSDs individually just have in mind that we have a little bit lower speeds on the read side. On the right side here at least on disk speed will work on the same speed more or less. Nonetheless plenty of speed for those that edit videos or that transfer huge files to your Mac Mini. Now let's select the Mac Mini IFRA which is the external SSD connected via USB type A right over here with 10 gigabit of bandwidth and as we can see we are reaching up of 1600 megabytes per second so more than 10 gigabit and right over here reaching the limit which is more or less 950 megabytes per second on the external on the USB type A. Now let's stop this test and let's go to the SD card which is the last one here so let's press and this will depend on the SD card that we will be using but as we can see it will ramp up up to 500 600 megabytes per second and then it will lower down to the maximum of the SD card we are talking about here of a SD card SD 4.0 so we will be able to reach high speeds depending on the card that we use and right over here we are reaching more or less 90 megabytes per second so if we transfer a lot of 
files it's worth it to invest in better cards so that we can have a better speed especially in this docking station which has 40 gigabit in terms of bandwidth so it's not just aesthetics although it looks really nice and it's really well built for someone that it's looking to have on their setup not only a great look but also some real speeds this is the first docking station of several that we have tested that has a 40 gigabit connection at the back which means that we will be able to take full advantage of the ssds that we use up to the limit of thunderbolt 4 which is the maximum that we will be able to take as we have seen on my setup the assembly process was probably my favorite as you guys know i love to remove screws and tear things apart and then putting them together and that process was really really easy really fast and if you are looking to give a different look to your mac mini m4 or m4 pro and put it on your desk and make it to look like a miniature mac pro this is a awesome design actually i think it would be a good idea if apple would do something like this but i believe that if they do it will cost about four or five times more than this one costs. I will leave the link down below so that you can check it out. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.